Meanwhile, more testimony today at the federal trial of Nathan Goddard and Cocky Cortner. They are the suspects connected to the shooting death of Dayton Police Detective George Del Rio. Today, the jury learned what doctors saw the moment Del Rio arrived at the medical center after being shot, as well as some key evidence found at the home where the shooting happened. Del Rio was serving a warrant with a Drug Enforcement Agency task force in November of 2019 when he was shot. He died at the hospital three days later. Two News reporter Aliyah Seabrooks continues our coverage from the federal building in Dayton. On Friday, the jury heard about the critical condition Detective Del Rio was in when he arrived to a local medical center in 2019. They also heard new details about two cell phones recovered from the basement of the drug house on Ruskin Road. Now we want to warn you, some of these details may be disturbing to hear. According to hospital records, Detective Del Rio was in critical condition, suffering cardiac arrest, and had a compromised airway when he arrived at Grandview Medical Center, now known as Kettering Health Dayton. On the next day, November 5th, a neurologist conducted an exam on Del Rio and testified that he found devastating damage to his brain as well as tremendous swelling in blood. After a second exam later that day, Detective Del Rio was pronounced brain dead. In a final act of service, his organs were donated on November 7th, 2019. According to testimony from a federal agent, investigators recovered two phones from the basement of the home on Ruskin Road after the shooting. Those investigators determined the phones belonged to Nathan Goddard and Cocky Cortner. The jury saw a photo of two handguns on one of the phones that matched two weapons recovered from the crime scene on Ruskin Road. Based on their serial numbers, one pistol was determined to be the weapon found on Cocky Cortner after the drug raid, and the other was determined by the Miami Valley Crime Lab as matching the bullet found in Detective Del Rio. Now the trial has concluded for the day and is expected to resume Monday morning. We will follow this trial every step of the way and continue to provide you updates on air and in the 2 News app. In Dayton, Aaliyah Seabrooks, 2 News.